to live here, to be part of this community, and you just want to give all you can. And that's all I could do is from my heart. A city in mourning tonight, Highland Park, comes together after tragedy. The vigil comes as people look to do whatever they can to support the victims' families and rally for change. Casey Cronus is live with more. Casey? Anthony and Don, tonight's vigil marked the first city-led event since last Monday's 4th of July parade. The Highland Park mayor encouraging the community to continue providing strength to one another and demanding a safer future. Tonight I'm looking for further closure, although we will never forget and we shouldn't forget. Looking for light in their darkest days, hundreds of people came together outside of City Hall, many just beginning to process last week's 4th of July parade shooting. The memory is, is uh, etched in our collective and municipal minds uh, forever, and this is a way to honor them through a period of mourning. Mayor Nancy Rotering honoring the seven people killed. Catherine Goldstein of Highland Park, Irina McCarthy of Highland Park, Kevin McCarthy of Highland Park. And vowing to keep their memories alive. We will keep those murdered in our hearts and in our minds as we work to resolve that this evil attack will not define who we are nor will it define how we treat each other. The event was monitored closely by several federal, state, and local police agencies. Mayor Rotering telling us that presence came in an effort to make those attending the vigil feel safe. A peaceful yet somber evening in a community that may be fractured but is not broken. Highland Park strong. Highland Park's full of a lot of love. This Saturday, a March for Our Lives rally will be held in Glenview's Gallery Park at 1 o'clock, where the student led group will renew its call for gun control legislation. Live in Highland Park, Casey Cronus, Fox 32, Chicago.